All right, what we have here is a 2019 GMC Savannah extended van with a six liter V8, six speed automatic transmission. Uh, this one is in a conversion van by Explorer Van Company. It is a 4x4. It is uh, the last two years they're making the 4x4 was 2019 and 20. They're not available in 2021. Uh, this is a 4x4 unit. It is a part time four wheel drive unit. I mean, a switch. So it's two wheel drive or four wheel drive. It has four low, uh, just like your traditional four wheel drive pickup trucks. It is a nine passenger high or an extended chassis high top. It is an eight passenger unit. It was ordered this way from new. Uh, it has the pedestals for nine seats. However, it's only equipped with eight. They would, they would uh, move one of their captain's chairs between the positions depending on their trip at that time. Uh, the uh, leather that is available, in, on, I'm sorry, the leather inside this van is still currently available. So a, a ninth seat, a ninth captain's chair is available from Explorer Van Company, new uh, with the purchase of this van if it's desired. Uh, we are leaving it as is for the moment. All right, let's get started there. This has the 17-inch uh, wheels on it which are uh, Explorer recommends for the 4x4. They also give it a little bit better variety and more traction to the road if the 4x4 is engaged. Uh, a little 24,000 and change on the odometer right now, bronze in color, a beautiful van. It is used, uh, and like I was telling you in the email, they're replacing the chrome on the belt moldings, and I think one of the LEDs has a, yeah, has a, uh, a bad um, LED that they're replacing in that. So that's what we're replacing under warranty. Uh, this vehicle still has warranty, still has three year, 36,000 mile bumper to bumper GM warranty until 7 2 of 2022. It has the five year, 60,000 mile powertrain warranty in effect until 7 2 of 2024. That's the GM factory warranty. All right, uh, around the front, I don't see any damage except for right here. It looks like it got hooked on a parking block, exactly where that comes from, uh, dragging it off. Uh, we can just to get that touched up for you. And it does have the step plate bumper or step plate on the front so that you can get to the windshield if you need to clean it while you're on the road here. Don't see any other damage across the front. The grill looks good. The hood does have a small ding right here, which you can see. Well, I hope you can see that. It's, it's, it's very slight, but you can see it in the shine there. The rest of the hood looks good. And you can see here in the belt moldings, there's a chrome strip that goes in here all the way down it that they've removed already uh, that's going to go back in there as soon as we get it in this week or next week. It does have the 17-inch uh, Michelins on there. Let's see. It does have the electronic running boards. And a small thing here. Very, very small. It's more of a scratch, I guess, than a ding. Um, that's just rubber. It might be just rubber coming off of it from where they uh, they pulled all the chrome off of it. it. Might just be some of that that fell down on there. I'm not sure. Around the back, bumper's clean, back doors are clean. Does have the class three hitch with the seven and four pin connector. I don't see any scuffs back here really. Oh, very, very minor down here. That's below the eye, where the eye would see it. Uh, just needs washed. And again, you're missing the chrome trim that goes in there. And you do have the power boards on this side. And I also saw a thing yeah, right here. So that looks like one that we're probably going to have the PDA guy uh, take out. And if you can see, it's right above my finger. The rest of it looks good. I don't see any damage to the wheels. Mirrors, glass is all good. Windshield's good. And again, it's still under your full GM bumper to bumper warranty. So any issues uh, will be taken care of by General Motors. It does have the uh, two tone tan and cowhide. I think they call this uh, brown and tan inside. Two tone, I think it's richer than the uh, single tone upholstery. All power seats, of course, have your lumbar and your heat on the side there. Center console is removable, has two quick latches on each side, will come out. Of course, you have your uh, cooler in there, your storage around it, wireless charging. Uh, factory cup holders here. I don't see any damage in the finish in here. Factory glove box 
you have your 12 volt, 5 volt, 110 volt. Uh, there's your collision avoidance and your lane change, which is available in this vehicle, <coughs> included in this vehicle rather. OnStar, there's your passenger side airbag, you turn it on or off, your traction control. There's your 4x4 selector, electronic just like the Yukon Denali. There's your factory navigation and touch screen. Front heat and air controls and defrost. Your universal garage door remote. Switch banks for your lower ceiling cabinet and your fog lights. There are rear controls for heat and air. You have, of course, your map light on the side. Factory uh, driver's seat looks really nice. See a little bit of wear where they sat on it, uh, but, but no tears, punctures, or anything like that. Carpet looks good. Don't see any staining. Don't see any problems with that stuff. windows as expected okay. um, and this is the uh, the seating configuration normally you'd have a captain's chair here this is the one they opted to uh, to not purchase it does have the base so that you can lock any of these chairs in this position or any of the so the four plates are there in other words and three chairs is the way that they had it so when they traveled they would put their they would move this chair I think up here and they had that area for more storage or more uh, luggage room. That's what they used it for, I guess. Um, but it does have all the uh, floor mats there. And we can get you a seat or leave it as is uh, if you look like it this way. The, the, all the headphones come with it. There are six pair. They're battery operated. And, of course, it has a TV with surround sound. It does have your wireless charging, as I pointed out before. It does have your Blu-ray player, your game console hookup and storage. There are remotes for everything here, and everything is still under warranty, including the television and the uh, DVD players. I think I've got the right one. Remote here. I heard something. Come on. Ah, oh, there we go. It's a smart TV. Uh, JBL is the upgraded speaker, speaker package on the surround sound, and it does have the back speakers that are there, along with air conditioning and heat vents and some storage in the center. You have your uh, powered sunroof, which does work. Center lighting console, your mood lighting. Hard to see with the sun out, but it's up there. I'll show you the power bed here after a bit. Let's see your smart TV functionality. All right. Second row of seats, more charging over there. Second, middle row of speakers. Uh, the seats are in great condition. They don't look like they have hardly any wear. Tie downs for car seats if needed. Uh, these seats do, do swivel 360 degrees, by the way. All three of these with well, the four mounts do. And there's your power sofa bed and rear. No damage to it whatsoever. Smells nice in here. Never been smoked in. Doesn't smell like any kind of anything other than leather and carpet. Uh, is what I smell. There's your new inflator. Uh, was missing it, so we purchased another one. Put it in here for you. Uh, again, it does have six pairs of the uh, wireless headphones. They're battery powered. Right, again, you put blinds everywhere. I'm going to go show you the functionality of the back sofa bed. folder that holds all your paperwork for your TV, DVD player, and all the extra stuff. Your jack is in here, and there's your vacuum, of course. And there's power for the vacuum. There's your power bed settings, and that's for leg room. And your up and down functions to sleep. All right, and then that third piece is going to go down below the couch when you put it back up to save space. And there's your third section coming out the bottom. And below that, you have your subwoofers. There's one for powered subwoofer amplifier unit for the uh, surround sound, and one for your factory dash radio up front. All right, you got floor mats. And you got car seat tie downs for the uh, rear set for that as well. Uh, nice van, got a couple little things to clean up on it, and before it's ready to ship or whatnot. 
but I uh, wanted to get this out to you, so I pulled it out of service to do that. Um, nice, nice van. Highly desirable powertrain. I'll get the dents out of it for you. Uh, get these little issues cleaned up, and you still got darn near a brand new van. Alright. Drives out nice. Uh, as expected. It drives nice and tight like it's new. I will send this clip to you, see what you think. There's your mileage, 24,184. 63 today, degrees today. Very nice here. I'm enjoying the heck out of it. So I hope you guys are too. And Garrett, I don't know if I told you this before, but my son's name is Garrett. I'm really fond of that name. <laughs> but anyway, we will talk soon. I'll send this off to you. Thanks, man.